introducing the new McLaren 570S Spider. It costs £164,000 and it weighs just 46 kilograms more than a 570S Coupe. And in every single aspect of its mechanical setup, it is identical to the Coupe, says McLaren. Same twin-turbo V8 engine, same mid-engine chassis settings, exactly the same torsional stiffness from its carbon tub. And so to drive, it should be, well, exactly the same car. Except, of course, for one rather crucial element, the way it sounds. well and good McLaren claiming that the Spider is as stiff as the Coupe and that it only weighs 46 kilograms more than the Coupe and that it's just as fast as the Coupe because it's got just as much power, just as much torque. The same gearbox, the same brakes. It is fundamentally the same car except for the roof which adds a few kilograms. But that's, I mean that's all well and good but it's not really what you buy a Spider for. You buy a spider to drop the hood, find a few tunnels, and behave like a slight child. So, let's do exactly that. Ever so slightly tasty. You never fully appreciate the sound that erupts out of the back of the 570 until you either drop the window but then there's loads of wind noise but the best thing to do is to drop the roof and then find a tunnel oh look here's another one I mean that just sets your heart on fire all the rest of what this car has is just fantastic we know that we know the 570s forwards backwards sideways everywhere but you never fully appreciate that sound until you're sat in this seat without a roof and a tunnel to play with. And oh look, here is another one. The Spider's hood mechanism is a proper work of art in both its design and mechanical operation. And once raised, which takes a mere 15 seconds, it transforms the car into a 570S coupe to all intents but with an extra small bit of boot space behind the rear seats and all the refinement of the fixed head version. The roof's now fully up. And it, the transformation is amazing because you put the roof up and it instantly just feels exactly like the coupe. There are no kind of compromises in terms of wind noise or anything like that. It, it really does essentially feel 15 seconds later exactly like the 570S Coupe. No matter how many times you drive these things, they do just kind of blow your mind away. Not just with the pure speed, but the stability of the chassis, the kind of playfulness of the chassis, which they engineered very deliberately into the 570S. This one's got the slightly bigger wing on the back of it that you get with the Trackpack 570S. And that's just to, to get the aerodynamics identical to the coupe, say McLaren. So you do have a touch more downforce at the back, they say, and so therefore a touch more stability in the really quick corners. I don't know if you can feel that from behind the wheel, it's just, it's just got bags of grip, but the rear does feel quite playful. It does, it does move around a lot more than it did in a 650S, for example. And you can muck about with it and just, the steering is particularly nice on the 570 because it's hydraulic steering. They rejected the idea of having electric power steering right from the word go, despite the fact that, that adds a tiny bit of weight, but because they just wanted to have it bursting with feel, and it really does. You know absolutely to the nearest millimetre where the front end is on this thing. Right, being a child, I've just dropped the rear screen back here, which is possibly the nicest way of all to listen to the engine, because you get the hood up so you've lost all the wind noise, but you, you drop that little glass bulkhead behind you, so you get the full, the full wallop of the V8, and it really, you can hear all the little nuances 
is all the little fizzes that it makes. Listen. It starts to sound quite a lot like a Ferrari when you do that. I mean, that's a good noise, isn't it? That is a good noise. I really hope that's coming across on the microphone. Okay, last little demonstration as to what the 570 Spider sounds like. With the glass bulkhead down, roof up, and in a tunnel. <laughs> Oh, what a silly vehicle. What a fantastic vehicle.